Um, so I did a thing. I really needed a saw that I could cut metal with at home. Um, just, I often do a lot of projects with bar and stuff. I should probably look at the ones. Sorry. I'm always looking the wrong end of the camera. Um, anyway, so, uh, this guy that rents, um, one of the bays at my shop, he has one of these, except he doesn't have the aluminum base. He said the cast aluminum base, uh, he said if it doesn't have the cast aluminum base, it'll warp and he highly recommended it. Um, I, uh, used his and I was like, oh my gosh, cause I've been using, I've been trying to use angle grinders and, um, hacksaws and stuff to, and I wasn't able ever able to get that nice edge um working at home so it's just a pain and it was so fast and it's not an abrasive saw um if you don't see it no it's all covered but it's got like like a, a wood saw type blade except it's from cutting metal anyway let's open this and I'll show you what all comes in it really excited it came yesterday i waiting till i have some time to do it and it's so hot that no one wants to do anything so hopefully i won't be bothered well someone had opened this before it's restapled and retaped i don't like that very much uh i so i ordered mine from trick tools and um that's where i got my uh my hammers just take I stuck to everything. Uh, Trick Tools is having a hard time loading. The process, the payment didn't go through very fast. Not, it was not my best experience with them. Um, carefully packed by Scribbles, and I think that says thanks because there's an exclamation point. Can't read it. Um, anyway, uh, oh, also, I also got the, um, 18 inch or sorry, 15 inch magnetic chip brush, which I had discovered when I did my welding class. It was really, really handy. So now this box weighs 65 pounds. It's not light. Um, you get trick tools catalog came with it. Trick tools. They didn't give me all this stuff when I ordered my hammers. Oh, Stickers. I'll put those on my on my little toolbox when I, you know, eventually, I guess. Um, okay, so let me just tilt it for you. The guy was like, "Oh yeah, it's really beastie." Like he's like trying to warn me, and he was he was like a. Oh, I'd say he was at least three hundred fifty pounds, at least three hundred pounds, but um. Polynesian dude and I just went and picked it up and walked off with it and he's like whoa <laughs> so um it came FedEx so here's how it looks on top let's pack up nicely um so we've got the user manual on top and then here's some two little round plates on top here heavy like I know this is like a heavy thing um, I actually, I need this so I can finish my welding table because I'm going to put um, expanded metal across the bottom and I need to cut a couple of lengths of two inch square tubing to put across so it doesn't bend, but that's where this is going to live. This is the catch tray for the metal shavings and you're going to want this. Oh my goodness. Comes with it, obviously. Um, so this was more expensive than other options because of the... Um, aluminum base is well worth it. Pull apart. Put this all together. Here, okay. All of this that's on top. The sound of, of uh, styrofoam is my le husband's least favorite sound. All right, now tucked on the side here, we've got it comes with one saw blade. And these are like 80 bucks to replace. There are some packages from different places that have another one included. Um, but doing the math, it was just cheaper to get it without. And I thought about getting the stand with it. 
also cheaper to get without. Then you get the stand cheaper other places. The saw was absolutely the same price everywhere. So if you're looking at that. Um, anyway, uh, it's beautiful. And you can get these sharpened so you can reuse them as well. Um, so this is a 14 inch. You can go up to 15 inches. I'm sorry, I'm kind of bouncing here on the table. Uh, you go up to 15 inches uh, diameter and you can switch this out to use whatever kind of saw blade you want to use. Like if you want to, if you if you're wanting to switch back and forth, I should probably stay in frame, right? Uh, if you're wanting to switch back and forth between like wood and metal, you can. I mean, you could use this on wood. It's just gonna wear it out faster. It's kind of against the point, I think. Um, all right, so. I think I need to come around to this side. And we're gonna, I'm gonna grab it. We're gonna slide it off. Hold on. It's not light. It's Sixty-five pounds. So if you can't lift 65 pounds, you might be hurting. All right, so just in the box, we're empty here. Oops, stop light. All right, though I'm not seeing my other tool that I ordered. Hold on, realize my camera is a little tilted. Let me just, okay. <laughs> um, all right, so. Got I turn it around. And actually, I'm gonna aim the camera down so you're not gonna be so much seeing so much of my face, which is fine. Um, let's show you the tool here. It's what everyone's here to actually see. Am I right? I'm right. All right, so a little bag comes off this arm. I'm gonna just toss everything in the box as I take it off. Uh, it's got a really big zip tie to hold this down. You can see better. Um, oh, here's the tool. We just stuck it and snuck it in there. That's pretty cool. I'll show you this. Ooh, <laughs> that just magnetized to the tool tray. Okay, good. I'm glad the tool is in here. I'm glad they packed it. All right. That's not going to come out without breaking and rubbing plastic sound is not everyone's favorite. So we're just that one. Oh, I don't get quite out enough. That was unexpected. All right. Okay, so that's off. It is, I mean, that was not, they, they take it serious. That's a, that's a good zip tie. All right, so, um, plug is back here. We're gonna drop that down so it's not impeding anything in the back. Um, where's my little locking mechanism to lock it in place? Um, Oh, there we go. Back All right, let's. So I'm gonna lift it up and get this out of the way here. This is so nice. I really, really like it. Um, if you're wondering, sorry, it's a little small snug these days. You see the the uh, base, the solid cast aluminum. I was gonna say solid. That's not what I mean. Oh, uh, where is it at? Hmm. 
I guess we'll just look at the book real fast while well, you're getting a view of how beautiful it is. Beautiful. Sorry. Okay, there you go. All right. Let's tear this open and take a gander. No, it's... Those pictures, okay. Handle. What's figure five? It's like pointing to things. Hmm. Hmm. There wasn't like a lot of parts to come with this. This will lift up. There we go. Lift up and this will pull back. Nice to have a little piece of paper to keep it back. And so we can we can do mitered corners on this because um, it'll turn 45 degrees. 15, 30, and 45. Um, huh. It says here, this little card. Oh, hey, Wyatt. Hey, Steve. Hi, guys. Um, sorry about that. This is it's when cutting round or square tube uh, box uh, tube or box section at 45. Ensure that the rear fence is in position in a position two or three. So, okay, whatever that means, I will read into. I'll, I'll read this. I feel like I've used one. And it wasn't this nice, but the guy said, trust me, spend your money on um, the, okay, let's see, here we go. He said, spend your money on the, the cast aluminum so it doesn't work because it's starting to warp. And he does railings and stuff for a living. Okay, quick release mechanism is three. Here's number three. Nope, that's this. Okay. Okay, so there's a lock pin back here that um, called positive stop lock pin. I like these. It's nice when you're screwing something in. Oh, wait. You don't have to like wait forever to screw it all the way in. All right, so I'll turn it around for you. So this pin here keeps, um, allows you to turn it. Well, except that I have this pressed up against it. So let's try that. So now that that's back, I can lift here and turn it theoretically. Oh, that's not going anywhere. Well, all sorts of things I don't know yet. But this looks so nice. It looks super high end. Like I said, my friend's got one and he raves about it. And then, like on the handle, there's a button you have to push to get it to. Like if you just squeeze the, the blue handle, it won't go, but you have to push down the little black handle. It's got a three-year warranty on it also. <sighs> so, that does something. Mmm, come on. I like that this stays down when uh, when you're using it, so you're less it keeps everything more contained. Sorry, I should have read this beforehand. Because usually, you know, on most chop saws, 
some around here where it quick goes through and holds into place. Um, my friend, his was kind of foobarred and he had something at the front that would grab it. So there's a an Allen, can you see this? There's an Allen wrench here. It lives in the front. That's probably, oh yeah, it goes in here. You can't see, let me see. Let's see. So right back here, you won't be able to see because of the shadow anyway, um, is uh, um, where the Allen key goes. Got this little round protector here on on the end of it so it's not getting just slammed into stuff. This is all metal. Yeah, this is all metal. Um, this is cast. This is not. This is some sort of plastic. It doesn't sound like metal at all. Um, oh, moving everything. My phone call. My son. Um, turn around here. So this is the other side. Like I said, this it's got this little part. And this is what dropped. Oh, and here's these were on. I like that it comes with the um, Allen wrench, and the Allen wrench has somewhere to live right here at the front, here at the bottom of the image. So do you guys have any questions, those that are watching? I wish we could pause this. I should have paused it. Okay. Ship. Okay, I'll show you this in a second. Ship tray will go. It goes underneath I think yeah it comes in through the back and it also has allen wrench on the end so the non allen wrench end slides in the back so there's a little collection so right here this, is where this, slides in. this collects everything for you I hope pretty well because I don't want to be accidentally stepping in anything. And that's got a little spring to it. You push it back in there. That's good. And then this goes over um, this piece. This is everything called number four. Goes over the swiveling vice jaw. Um, Bring it back and lift this up so you can see. This kind of slips on over top. And then it will kind of hold these pieces for you at different angles. So that's pretty awesome. I like extras. Now, okay, I want to show you this. Now, this is already dirty. Um, oh, oh. Big old magnet. Um, I wanted to um, get one of these because the guy that taught me how to weld, or taught me the most how to weld, um, he got one of these for his high school class, and I was like, "That is amazing! I need one. I would want one of those." And so this was twenty-five dollars. Get all this off. Oh to me because it's like 90 degrees all right so this is how it works all right okay <laughs> let go all right so there's a magnet in it see now it's not touching anything so on the base there's a magnet that gets pushed and as it comes past this point everything drops off um so this is really really handy i really like it it's a strong magnet i like uh, i mean it's not like i'm really straining push it off but it doesn't 
you know, it takes a little bit of effort to pull it back. So anyway, so this is my new tool, hopefully to really increase my efficiency and maybe do a better job on things. I do like doing quality work and it's really difficult to get those mitered corners at home without tools. And this cuts through really fast. Um, we'll do some, I'll do some reviews with it. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and cut out and I'm going to put the saw blade on. And like I said, this is going to live underneath my, my welding table. Um, so let's see, uh, let me give you just a couple of quick facts about it. Um, so it's 15 amp. Um, and like I said before, so the, there's a 14 inch blade supplied, but you can put also has room for a 15 inch. Um, the no load speed is uh, 1,450 RPM. So it goes quick. Um, and I'm gonna sit and read through this. I'm starting to really sweat here. Oh my goodness, I'm so sweaty. Um, so I'm going to sit down and read the manual and hopefully it's not like the last thing I bought where everything I needed to know that <laughs> wasn't in the manual. So oh, well, I'm going to hope I turn on my fan, my jam fan that I have in here and uh, I'll open the door and get some circulation because I see I'm getting shiny. This is it's all sweat. It's like 100 degrees in here. Let me check. Uh, oh, more than 100 degrees in here. So, and I like the first thing is that there's in here, though, by the way, is that there's photos and kind of like Ikea, you know, it's like, um, oh, duh. Okay, here it is. So I was like, it seems like it would be this. So I'm going to turn around so the back's facing you. Teflon tape pulling down. All right, let's turn those down so you can see real quick. All right, so this pin right here, this comes out. You got to push down a little bit to release it, and then it'll come all the way up. And I mean, and it comes up like it's really extended. So yeah, okay. So that's in all the way. Good. So that's our little pin for opening, for locking it, locking and unlocking it into place, which is great because then you can just pick it up by the handle. Um, my friend, his, his is broken and he made something to hook onto it. Um, he like drilled a hole in it and stuff. So hopefully we won't have any of those issues. Um, but I'm gonna find out how to unlock this plate and where we can do mitered corners. Excuse me, I'm going to turn around. Like I said, this probably weighs about 60 pounds because no, it's more than that. This only weighs like maybe a pound. So I'm just thinking the total weight of everything was 65. So it's at least 60 pounds. Um, hmm. Cast aluminum. Aluminum doesn't, doesn't stick. Well, that's interesting. All right. So anyway, this is it. Uh, please leave some comments. Give me a thumbs up. If you like this, find it interesting. Um, I'll set up the camera differently so we can get better views of things. Um, yeah. That's it. All right. <laughs> Thanks for uh, checking out. And just as a reminder, this was the evolution um, the P, no, S380 CPR, uh, CPS. So anyway, that's, that's this. Um, and I know this is going to be well worth the price. I've got to build some trellises for my garden and I really wanted miter corners. This is going to do it. All right. Thanks for watching. Um, be sure to check out d6spanky.com. 
and we'll see you later.